For centuries, buildings have been built by laying brick upon brick, stone upon stone. This all changed in Chicago at the end of the 19th century, when engineers were challenged to build taller structures with larger windows. At the end of the 19th century, demand for office space in downtown Chicago skyrocketed. Property investors wanted to capitalize on this demand and build as many desirable office spaces on their purchased plot of land as possible. Around the same time, a method for cheaply producing steel in large quantities was discovered. These two events led to the invention of a new structural design, the rigid metal frame. The departure from traditional building practices and the introduction of the rigid metal frame is historically marked in the two halves of the Monadnock. The north half of the building layered bricks and created thick walls to support the weight of the 16-story building. The south half, built only two years later, has a metal skeleton covered by a thin wall of bricks, which enabled architects to build taller and increase rentable office space. The structural difference of the two halves is like playing with Legos versus Tinker Toys. With Lego, blocks are stacked one on top of the other, strengthening the structure and sending the load of the building straight down to the ground. Tinker Toy structures, however, are built by connecting rods, making a frame that sends loads vertically and horizontally down to the ground. Since the frame bears all the weight, the walls are no longer essential to hold up the building and can be cut away and replaced by larger expanses of glass. Monadnock's two structural systems stand as a testament to Chicago's spirit of innovation, a spirit that remains today.